Hi Capricorn, this is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards readings by M for the week starting 27th of April 2020. Right, we're going to draw seven cards, one for each day of this week. And we're going to start now with Monday. Ten of Rhodes. Tuesday, Five of Cups. Wednesday, Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> Page of Swords, Thursday. The Hierophant, Friday. Seven of Rhodes, Saturday. Six of Swords, Sunday. Your influencing energy is energy of Empress. It's a lovely energy. It's all Venus in there. Love, abundance, money, everything is there. Enjoying, enjoying the, the um, fruits of your labor. As uh, we would normally say. Or seeing the future in a bright light. Something is very promising there. That sort of energy, that influencing that comes into this week, <clears throat> from you kind of inheriting these energies from some previous period. Okay, your ten of roads down there on Monday. We're gonna pair it with the, the devil. Five of Cups paired with Seven of Cups. Five of Pentacles is paired with Nine of Swords. Page of Swords is paired with Queen of Pentacles. That's Thursday. Now Friday, the Hierophant, we are pairing with Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Saturday paired with Seven of Pentacles and Six of Swords. Sunday paired with Four of Swords. Interesting. We did have quite nice cards and energies recently. But now, <clears throat> day by day in here, it's a bit tricky. Nice influencing energy. It's being calm, being harmonious, uh, harmonious. Um, I'm dealing with children here, something that is your past when you were a child. Um, that kind of energy is in here. Mother, family, influencing you this week. Now your Monday with the Ten of Rhodes and the Devil. Ten of Rhodes is, uh, it's a burden. It's a lot of work. Um, having uh, many things and you don't know what to choose, what to do with it. Having many things available also, many talents. Um, but then it comes as burden, it doesn't come as blessings. You know, whatever much or art um, that comes as a burden, much of something, too many talents, and you cannot pick one way for yourself. Um, too many um, opportunities, too many um, jobs, too many work, too many chores, daily chores that you have. Anything like that. Too many ideas, you cannot pick one. Every, everything that is many or much that is burden, but not opportunity, not a blessings, that kind of feeling of that much or many. Something that is a mountain you cannot choose, that is um, obstructive in a way. It's burden, that's your environment. That's your environment. You've got kind of a um, 
it's either too many jobs, too many responsibilities, too many ideas that come from different people, too many things that you're hearing around. You know, it, we all do. This is our environment. It's just too many things that comes around and we cannot, it comes as a burden. We can because we don't know what is the truth. When we're going to stop? When is this going to stop? It's kind of burden around us. The devil here, it's... Um, Capricorn, that's your energy in here. The devil, it's your energy. Feeling, kind of you're trying to find your way. I really think that it is you who really tries to find a way, by all means. Doesn't matter, I mean, not respecting norms or rules or ethics, but just see how you can go through this. How you can get away from this burden situation. Feeling restricted in here as well with the devil card. Feeling restricted, obstructed, uh, all this burden. But I think because this is devil, this is Capricorn, it's your energy that you're trying by all means to find a way through these restrictions and these burdens that you have on Monday. No matter what, you just need to go through that kind of feeling. I need to, I'm going to go through, doesn't matter. I, if I crook myself out, I will do it. You see, that kind of determination, whatever it is, I'll manage. No, Tuesday. Five of Cups and Seven of Cups. You know, we've got, you can notice this several, uh, three, uh, three pairs in here. Five of Cups and Seven of Cups. Energy. Then we have uh, Seven of Rods and Seven of Pentacles in here. Also something similar. And then Six of Swords, Four of Swords. You know, things that are kind of matching in um, energy that are matching in a way, confirming itself. It's just a different modality of the same one energy. Look, your Five of five of cups in your environment definitely you do have something standing for you something is the um, up and coming or or even running already something that is existing there but you're not looking forward what you're gonna do with that what prospect gonna be there or, or you know so and so you turning back looking at something that was really wrong and you didn't like it and it wronged you and you were sad and disappointed about what it was about that what it was earlier but as i said you do have something ongoing already with seven of cups perhaps within you you're turning back and you're looking back and you are sad and so and so because your opportunities are kind of undefiable. You cannot define this opportunity. You cannot pinpoint practicalities in here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, there is ideas. There is cups and it feels good and it's maybe it could be what it could be. It could be anything. With seven of cups, we said what could be anything. From a beggar to king, anywhere, this energy goes, stretches a long way. It's these ideas about something, about some prospect, stretches really far. Seven of Cups, that's within you. Perhaps you've got these ideas, because it is within you, this energy, kind of tricky energy that you have within you this week. Very tricky. You... you Okay, let me just carry on with the Seven of Cups and then we're going to summarize somewhere at the end. Like, you did have plenty of ideas, plenty, plenty options there in front of you and some are really amazing. You know, you, your mind made it amazing, is making it amazing. You made it amazing in your, in your, with your imagination, actually. Lacking the abilities, that's what I'm saying in here. Perhaps something which really pinned out as a uh, um, doable things. It's not something that you really like. Something that comes possible from all these possibilities. You know, one or two things came out as really doable, real possible. But then it's not what you wanted. You're not happy with that. 
Five of Pentacles on Wednesday. It just carried this energy of you, of you being not happy with what you've got right now, with your situation right now. It's all the time you show unhappiness. I haven't deserved it. I didn't deserve these things. I couldn't have more. That was something. I could have some more than this, than, than only these two. That was more for me. I deserve better. Somebody should help me, let me alone, blaming another. You see what I'm saying? All the time you do have this even further. But particularly Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you've got this feeling, I, I could have done, I, I, I should have uh, um, uh, succeeded there. I should have more. Somebody should help me. You know, like you complaining about that you haven't got, that you deserve more that you've got right now. That kind of things. That kind of mode that you're in uh, this week. Nightmare. This is nightmare. Um, you like like you fearing um, um, this failure that you're not gonna have enough money and and maybe sickness. Maybe also sickness. Somebody is sick for some of you. Maybe some illness. Um, but more or less, it is your fear of something that comes uh, up front materializes itself. You fear it's going to be like that and it happened like that. It's just what I fear that it's going to be. Yes, that's how it happened. You know? I think it stretches further from Tuesday that you're disappointed, that your expectations were much bigger than that what you received, that that what really comes up as a doable or practical or, you know, the situation that is real it's um, kind of much lesser than that what you expected. That kind of, that's what I'm saying. And it, as I said, it stretches further into this Thursday, bringing much more disappointed that you're feeling even worse than it is, actually. It, maybe it's not even that bad as, as bad you feel about it. Now, we're going to like Thursday with Page of Swords after all this, you know, kind of victim-type energies. In, like you feel victimized in here, like you feel down and uh, um, left alone and um, disappointed and so and so. Now, Page of Souls, your environment, kind of news that you receive, something new, fresh, very, this is fresh air, some news that comes, you know, with this Page of Swords. It's a page, it's young energy, it doesn't mean much, it could go all the way, all the ways, you know, here and there, it, this information, it's not something that you, that you can rely on, really. But it is information, nevertheless, and it's kind of positive. It's very positive. Look at this energy. This is your energy when you really feel good about yourself and very caring one. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's a child. Maybe you have a child that you're dealing with, which is perhaps Libra or, or Gemini or Aquarius person. Or that child gives an information to you, something that is good news, and you feel good about it. You feel good about Queen of Pentacles. It's very caring energy, very, feeling very stable there with your family, in your house, in your home. Everything is there. In your business, feeling really bossy, not, not, but care in a caring way. Like you care about everybody around you, so everybody gets his salaries. Uh, their jobs are there to do, um, to be done. Queen of Pentacles, it's a good, nice, caring energy. Um, um, good executive, um, good mother that cares that everything is in order, that money is there, food is on the table. You see what I'm saying? This one is very caring in material sense. It's very stable and that is good energy finally after all oh, monday tuesday wednesday these are really tricky days emotionally unstable that you are not happy with your surrounding like like you feel that you you deserve better than you got it these days finally something new this news is coming that you know um, lifts up the spirit day get back to you yourself I'm working hard, I'm making money, I'm, I'm solid, I'm, you know, I'm organizing my life, you know, I'm putting things in order. That's your energy, Queen of Pentacles, in here. Thursday, that's good. Friday, 
We have four of pentacles with the Hierophant in here. Hierophant is, and its external energy, it is a belief um, of a group, religion, uh, believing in politician, doesn't matter, in political group, anything that is group identity, how group identifies itself with some sort of belief or ideas or so. That, that's all, the kind of norm that we all accepting. Um, this morality, ethics, things that we accepting and it is good for all. This is the way how we do and it will be good for all. Right for all. It, it's right and it's good for all. That kind of uh, um, energies. Traditional uh, way of thinking where um, suits everybody. You know, things that su it's su suitable for everybody. Things like that. Uh, Sometimes they said because of these two keys. It says it's relocation. You move into the house or flat because of the keys. Or knowledge is there that is good. You, you're understanding... But understanding through the reliable sources, that you, you get this understanding through reliable sources. Um, if you need it to um, find out about something that is technical, you will contact person who is expert for it. That sort of things. You are not just talking to a neighbor. You know, it must be expert that advise you in that field. About uh, expert in that field that advises you about this problem that kind of things. And we're talking now <clears throat> your security, holding your values, for your values. Whatever you can call value here for yourself, uh, um, you are holding tight to it. You don't want to spend, you don't want, you collecting it now. Now you busy collecting. Not spending, not spreading, you busy collecting. You yourself. If you were uh, um, sad or miserable or you know all over the place because you were obviously un unhappy and um, the situation didn't please you at all you collecting yourself everything that is your value now put yourself together save your money save your time and see what you're going to do with it queen of pentacles is very much energy there that influences that sort of thinking Whatever you have now, put it together, collect it, and move forward. You see what I'm saying? That kind of energy comes from this Thursday into Friday. Very nice, very solid Friday. And I'm seeing it rooted in, in this Thursday. Anyway, now we have these two sevens. Defending this opinion. Also, look at both of this. We perhaps... Contact, you will perhaps contact somebody who's got real uh, opinion, expert opinion about something. Now, there is this Seven of Rhodes with all, who's also a teacher. This is atmosphere, this kind of professor at university. But this could be primary school teacher. You see what I'm saying? Somebody's had this strong opinion. It seems a bit odd, you know, but it is strong and valuable. It does have values, it does have, it does have logic, it is good ideas. And presenting it with, with conviction. It's very convicted, this, is, this person is very right. It could be that you are talking now about it. It could be that you are now presenting your opinion. That's what you find out on Thursday. That what, that's your realization. And you may be talking about it. Because we do have Seven of Pentacles, something that is you building up. You're building these things uh, uh, and you're actually completing it there and you're expecting results from, from this Seven of Pentacles. Some way you do expect results. You're moving forward and you're expecting results. But this is teaching like, you know what atmosphere is when, um, as I said, primary school teacher, when one is talking and explaining uh, about something that is true and others are arguing, put the question up, they, this is argument, they put question up, they, they, they seek your explanation, explain to me in details what did you say, that kind of things. It's either that you listen to somebody and you're asking explanation and you're seeking explanation, or you do have clearly set up some conviction, some ideas, you put together something. 
strongly. This is putting together strongly something, some facts together. And that's what you're defending in here on a Saturday. And the others are actually questioning you. But you're very convicted. You've got strong conviction here on Saturday and you're defending it. Your Sunday. Now, I was pointing about these very similar energies from Tuesday, Saturday, and now on Sunday. We've got six of swords with four of swords. Pulling back to a quiet place, to an easy way, easier way. You're searching something. You have to, you're pulling back to something that is easier. And it's my impression is that you pulling back, that this is your environment. It's kind of, you have some sort of disappointment in people around you, in, in uh, maybe government, maybe institution, maybe anything that is your surrounding, your business, uh, or where you work or, or you operate in. Your so kind of disappointed disappointment is there. And now you trying to heal it, trying to get back into your power uh, uh, because you cannot just stay there. This isn't your energy. They, they, you can't stay long in this seven of, of uh, uh, cups not knowing what you're going to do or being unhappy with what you have. Of course, if you're unhappy, you move forward and make your happiness. You know, that that what your energy is. You're a hard worker. You know how to put the structure into your, your life and your business and your, you know, in general. That, and, and that's what we see in here. Now Sunday kind of finds you that in a, maybe, this isn't, it kind of be feeling tired of difficulties that you did have. And it's Sunday, maybe you really deserve some rest to recuperate. Healing is in here as well, and maybe the four, to heal this kind of wounds, this unhappiness that you did have. I mean, of course, you're going to be putting efforts and you will move forward. Of course, there is things are happening for you. Of course, you, you're dealing with your situation in, a, in the right way. I mean, absolutely very solid in here. From seven of Pentacles, from four of Pentacles, you're moving forward to seven. I mean, you are doer. You're doing things. You're fixing things. You are solid. I mean, of course, as I said, you don't stay much longer into this uh, um, victim uh, mentality or something. It's just, you know, for a day that you saw, I didn't deserve that, this happened like this, or so and so. But you're moving forward, you're fixing, you know what is good for you. You're a hard worker, doer, and that's what is happening in here. Sunday find you a bit tired of thought. Maybe you feel, oh, I, why is that I always have to put so much effort? Why is not a bit easier? Kind of you want it a bit easier to move in this, into this feeling, oh, let me, uh, leave me alone, leave me alone moment. Let me just heal, uh, um, recuperate, and then from there I'll move forward next week to move forward from there. But Sunday you really need to um, just stay by yourself. Just leave me alone a moment. <laughs> Capricorn. Yeah? Yeah, we all face difficulties. It seems you dealing with it just quicker than the rest of us. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed Capricorn. <laughs>